Millions of people come to Arlington National Cemetery every year to see the changing of the guard at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. In an elaborate ceremony, the guard is changed on the hour, every hour, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, in rain, sleet, or snow. I recently spent time with specialist Jason Everill, who showed me what an average day is like for an elite tomb guard sentinel. We have a saying down here, it's called line six, and it is the sixth line of the Sentinel's Creed, and it is my standard will remain perfection, and that is something that we as Tomb Guards use down here on a daily basis. Perfection is an understatement. Every soldier must be in excellent physical condition, have an unblemished military record, and even be a specific height, between 5'10 and 6'4 to be exact. And those are just the initial requirements. An interview and a two-week trial are also mandatory. During that time, soldiers are under intense pressure. You have a series of five tests that you need to pass in order, in order to earn your Tomb Guard identification badge, and you are required to learn 16 pages of knowledge, verbatim, word for word, period for period, punctuation for punctuation. But the most time-consuming task of all is getting a uniform ready for the day. It can take up to four hours, and if you are not attentive to detail, you won't last long. There can be no fingerprints, smudges, or stray strands of thread, and metal pieces have to be measured multiple times per day. And what we'll do after we finish measuring is we'll go over our whole uniform with tape. We'll also go over our entire uniform with a lighter, getting off any stray strings that you might find. Burning your yellow piping, everything has to be precise and perfect. And then there are those famous shoes. Guards spend between four and five hours per day shining them. That's two and a half hours per shoe, but it's never enough. And once we think it's good enough and shined, we shine it again, and we shine it again, and we shine it again. And like a lot of tomb guards down here say, you can never shine shoes enough. What may seem tedious to some is an honor to others, and shining shoes for hours on end is all part of why specialist Jason Everill wanted to become a tomb guard, hey. because he is proud. Hey. There's not really words that can describe walk in the mat. I've done a few good things in my life, but I say that walk in the mat is probably the best thing I've done because I'm a very patriotic person and to walk the tomb is something that I will never regret and I can only hope that other soldiers can feel the same way as I do. It's an honor every time I step out in the plaza.